Hi all, it's Contenta Crafts, Lynn here. Welcome to my channel. So today I have a fun fold card idea to share with you and I absolutely love this style card. So today I am going to share a corner tuck fold card for Valentine's Day but you can create this card for lots and lots of different occasions. So for this card and any other cards and projects, please be sure to subscribe to my channel and click on that little bell so you will be notified when I upload a new video. So first, let's talk about what you need to create this card. So you will need an A4 piece of card. Um, this is to make the card base. So I have chosen this gorgeous cream linen cardstock. You will also need a piece of card that measures five by four inches. And I've chosen a red linen effect there as well. You will need another piece of card that matches your base card that will measure four and three quarters by three and three quarters of an inch. You will need a piece of patterned paper that measures four and seven eighths by two and seven eighths. And you will need another piece of patterned paper that will measure two and a half by two and a half inches. You would also need some little gems and some heart-shaped dies to decorate the card. Okay, so with your piece of card that you are using for the base card, so that will be your A4 sheet, what we want to do is on the short side we want to score at five inches like so and we will cut this piece off don't throw that away, just hang on to it for the moment. Next, what we want to do on the long side of the card, you want to cut it down to 10 inches and trim this piece off here. What we want to do is score on the long side, so on your 10 inch side, just make a score line at 7 inches. And fold this over and burnish your card like so so that is the first piece of the card finished now we've made the card base you want to bring your pattern piece of paper in that measured four and seven eighths by two and seven eighths what we are going to do is just pop some double-sided tape across the back here. And we're going to stick this down on the little flap. Just pop that like so and peel the backs off. Okay, so we're just going to pop this down on this little side flap here, just lining it up. I'll open that out actually. Line that up like so. And then when you're happy with that, just stick it down. Now take your piece of paper that matches the piece on the front of the card and this is the two and a half by two and a half inch square and what you want to do is cut it 
diagonally across and you will end up with your two triangles and we are just going to use one of these today and what we want to do is on two of the sides so it is going to be this side here and this one down here we're just going to pop a little bit of glue so on the two shorter sides of your triangle so your little bit of glue along these two sides here so this piece here won't have any glue on at all and then what you're going to do is the same as we've done on this flap here you're just going to leave a little bit of a border and we're going to pop this down oops, like so and just stick that down okay so now take your five by four inch piece of cardstock and your four and three quarters by three and three quarters and we are going to stick these two together. Oh, we just need to pop that like that. Just caught the glue there a little bit. So we'll just leave a little border around like so. And then what we want to do is pop some double-sided tape onto the back but we only want to pop it in these about an inch along so i'll pop my last piece of tape on here like that and then just peel this off like so and what we are going to do is just stick this so just see where the tape is and just stick that onto this flap here like so okay so now to decorate the front of the card so what i've done is i've cut out two hearts from my nesting dies and the size i've used is approximately two and three quarters of an inch by two and a half inches and i've cut those from my red cardstock and what i'm going to do is pop that onto the front like so into the middle then I have taken my Regal Frame Tonic Lovebird Insert Set and I've cut out this, I've used this little die here which obviously has the little lovebirds on and what I've done is I've just cut the middle square out like that and I've took the rest of it away. I've popped double foam pads on there and I'm going to layer that into the middle of the heart. I've got a little box of gems and in there I've got some little red hearts so I'm just going to lay these out around the card I don't know if anybody else has found this with these pickup tools 
they're okay there to pick up but as soon as i'm putting any glue on the back um it's just pulling it straight off the end of the pickup tool so i'm finding it a little bit more difficult to pick them up once the glue's on And I'm just going to pop a little one into the center of this little heart here. Okay, so that's that little bit. Well, what I've done here is I've cut out some alphabets from my Sharon Callis alphabet die. And I'm just going to be popping these Love You down the side of the card. so that's the front of the card and then for the inside what i've done the two hearts that we cut out one for the front the other one i am going to pop into the inside of the card just grab some glue and pop that in and just center it like that then what i did was i got this little cut and make mini die from the range and I've just cut that out in cream and I'm just going to pop that into the center of the red heart like that just pop the glue on there and that is just going to sit in the center of the heart like so There you go, we have created a gorgeous corner tuck fun fold landscape style card and there you can see it just opens up at the right hand side and inside it will reveal your gorgeous heart there. Um, but don't forget it, you can use it not just for Valentine's Day you can create this fun fold card for lots and lots of different occasions so thank you so much for joining me today don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel i will be ever so grateful and i will be back with some more valentine's tutorials and also another craft room storage box do check out my 12 by 12 inch storage box so happy crafting take care i will see you all again very soon bye bye for now